In this question, we have two flat metal plates, each of area one meter squared, with which to construct a parallel plate capacitor. The capacitance of this device is given to be one farad, and we are asked to calculate the separation between the plates. So we can make a list of some of the known items. We know that the area of each plate is one meter squared, and then we also know that the capacitance has to have a value of one farad. We are searching for the distance between the two plates, or the plate separation. And then, of course, we also know this constant epsilon naught. And then we have listed here the relationship between capacitance, the area of the plate, and the plate separation. Since we're trying to solve for D, we're going to rearrange the equation. And one quick trick here is to take the capacitance and D and just invert them or switch them. And with that little switcheroo, we can go ahead and plug in the known values. And when we simplify that, when we calculate that, we can see that the plate separation is going to be 8.85 times 10 to the minus 12. Dimensionally, we have a farad per meter multiplied by a meter squared, and then that is all over a farad. So what happens in the numerator is that the meter will cancel with another meter here, and then the farads will cancel out as well leaving us with meters. So the plate separation would be a very tiny number of meters. And then part B is asking us, could this capacitor actually be constructed? Sort of a strange question, given the fact that D is very small. In fact, it's smaller than the typical size of an atom. And so, no, we can't really construct a parallel plate capacitor that is smaller than an atom. So that would be the correct answer for part B.